go on back. We're going to go to the table together. Right. Okay. Uh, I practice you want to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wants to go on her own. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And we're live YouTube right now, so everyone's kind of watching. Give me her purse. I'll hang it over here. I'll put it over okay. here. Okay. You can place her on the table. Don't let go because she's wobbly. Yes, yeah, she is. In okay. Back feet lately. So you'll place her up here and you'll actually stand right here, okay? okay. Just like you did last time. Okay. Shuffle to the front and two hands on your pet for me. Okay, great. Stay there for me. Okay. We're going to do a summer haircut. So it's going to be right like this. Just what this is here. Because it looks like it's actually grown out from last time. Yeah. This length. Right. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it will be. Well, it, it, quite frankly, to me, this is not really, it, this is thick hair, but it's not like overabundant. But, you know, you can see where, before you met me, just where yeah. you've got this unevenness. And that was and there before you met me, am I right? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, don't let go of her, don't let her fall, okay? Oh, I won't. Hold still, sweetheart. All right, so hey, let hey. me get this situated. What's up, YouTube? Hey, you guys. This is our second groom with this client. Mom is going to assist because she's super old, right? <laughs> How yeah, old is she, your baby? Well, we feel she has to be at least 13 to 14 years. And I put on there, she survived cancer, okay? Right. So there's a, a long story behind that. And Mom, if she wants to talk about it, she may. Uh, I know we talked about it before, and I think I was recording that time. I think you were. I just don't think we did live. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our second groom. Mom was really happy, anxious. She beat, beat me here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um... Okay. And she'll move around a lot. It's okay. Oh, it's the same. No? Yeah, it's okay. Just do, just you do your thing there. Oh, good. Yeah. That's right? That's about what it's going to be. Yeah, right? that's what it's been. Yep. And it's just going to be even this time. Last time, what, what happened last time that was uneven? We had a little problem with her. And you had to rush, rush, huh? No, not here. You came in uneven. Oh, uh, yeah. That's I what did. I'm saying. What happened with that? You came here last time uneven because what was the story behind that? Uh, I think really the one that was grooming her just was very nervous. She'd done it for a long time with her, but she just kind of felt that, you know, the age thing was getting to her would probably be the best way to say okay. it. Okay. So she couldn't get it all even or anything, oh, right? Oh, no. Yeah. She said, oh, her, her back bones are showing. Sure, it, sure. It just well, it's true, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like so then you found me, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our second groom, so this is thank you for coming back. Well, you're very welcome. It was a beautiful groom before. Considering the circumstance. When you have a pet moving a lot, nervous, older... Yeah. You need that one-on-one. -on -one. There's different things going on with her health. You know, different vaccinations that are changed because of her health, because of the cancer. Right. Right? Yes. Uh, you need a special situation. It's yeah. not going to be... Yeah, and we have a special situation right. now. Right, right. And um, I, I think she's doing better. I think the thing that really freaked her was the cone, because she couldn't see it all then. The cone head. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. So we put the cone head on uh, before. We didn't like that. She Without didn't like me. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when I came, we took the I cone told you off. to get involved, right? Yeah. And um, Yeah, I recorded that. I haven't shared it with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's loaded yet. That's how far behind we are on videos. <laughs> well, that's okay. It'll uh, come about, so it'll be there soon, so. <laughs> well, she just um, I freaked out on it, on you, and, and... So now this is good. No cone head. I'll make a note. No cone head, right? Right, I think that you just never was know what the, you're gonna run into. You well, know? I think that you know she isn't blind, but she's lost some vision, and when we put the cone head on her, that really threw yeah, her off, didn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like she couldn't see at all and didn't know where. And I wasn't here at the time. You're a good girl. Yeah, you've been pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna look so pretty. We got some poop back here, girl. I'm gonna take that out. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, and that's and your bum. she did that's get your it. Bum. I see it. That's your bum. Let me get in there. Okay, in there, get in there fast and quick. Okay, yeah, she had an expression yesterday okay. on that one. She only has that one. One angle left because of the cancer, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. 
and so I take her once a month to, to do get express. Okay, and I know you told me that, but I'm glad you're repeating it. Some folks on YouTube probably right. can under relate or understand or wonder, right? Right, and uh, the tech that did that for us um, said she was only about three quarter full. Oh, great. So I it's just It's always great getting in there before it gets too full, right? Well, it is because at one point she ended up with an infection. Right, right, right. And if you know that that might be an issue, yeah, it is best. Just to pro be proactive about it. Yes, yeah. for sure. Would you agree that all dogs don't need anal glands? Uh, I know a lot that don't. Right, yeah. right. So just because mom is telling us about her, can you guys hear us okay? Can you, I'm not even looking at the screen, but can you guys hear us, yes or no? Six and a half minutes ago, something, something. I'm just hoping I got them. I, I, you heard me troubleshooting with David, so. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm going to switch blades here. Stay there, steady as you are. You're, see, you're much better for you Okay, today. great. Thanks, SoCal. So just because she's talking about anal glands doesn't mean y'all run around going crazy to stop talking about need to go get your dog's anal glands done. Every dog has their own anal gland issues or not. Right. Because I do know a lot of people that I've said I express They're like, oh, her. never, right? They're like, yeah. never, what is that? Right, right. Yes. <laughs> and you're like, well, mine had cancer in one of them. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, what are the chances of that? It's, I, it's, I haven't heard, I have never heard of that, you know? Yeah. I'm not saying that I, it doesn't. I don't see the, the yeah. veterinarian side of it, right? I'm sure that it happens, but, yeah. Well, I do have one side note to remind everybody. What's that? Um, the vet that took out that one felt he got it all. Oh, right. So right. he did not send it off to find out what type of cancer. And so once that's gone, once that situation was done, you can't go backwards, can you? No. And when we took her to Arizona, she was going to have her teeth cleaned. And they said, well, since we're going to put her uh, under, under, mm -hmm. She said, I'll, I'll do a needle biopsy, and we'll find out what it was. Okay. And, you know, I think it was proactive on some of those doctors, too. I'm, right. That were... But the deaths. Arizona was not the same person who removed it. Make sure no. that's clear. Right. No. And so Arizona was able to do a biopsy on that cancer? Yeah. Because it had come back? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We knew there was something wrong. What were the symptoms then? Because uh, she and this was is, I know more, you're more yourself. anxious. She hated being in the car, and we drive a thousand miles when okay. we go out. And she was just nervous. She all was changing. The time. Yeah. She okay. Was panting. So just because a dog gets nervous, that I wouldn't say, "Oh, there's cancer," right? So what? What no, else was happening? It, it was a change in behavior. Okay. And I think that that's an important thing okay. to be watching. You know, even though they're getting older, and a lot can be related to age. Um, you pay attention, don't you? Yeah. I you're do. your best, um, d I always say this, you're your best dog advocate. You're your dog's nurse, are you not? You're, yes. You are with your dog 24-7 in most cases, right? Correct. I learned that at a veterinarian. He said, Dee Dee, you're... You're your, when he, and I said, when, when is a good time for me to put my dog down, right? How do I know he's not doing well? Yeah. And he said, Dee Dee, you are your dog's best advocate. You're his nurse. You are going to see things that I don't see, that the vet tech's not going to see, things that no one's going to be able to explain, okay? Right. And uh, you got to make some judgment calls on that, and that's okay. You make those. But you get to see the change in behavior, like you said. Yeah, there was a definite change, and... Um then when they did an x-ray, and that was even a different vet than we have down there now. Um, so many different hands-on on your pet, am I right? If that makes it t tough, does it not? When well, you've got too many people involved? Well, yeah, but now we're down to two. Okay. And that is the one in Arizona. Because you're back Arizona. in Texas, too. Oh, okay. yeah, and the vet here. Okay. And... Um, He's aware that, that so probably year. the one that we have the highest confidence in. Okay, the one here? No. The Arizona. One in Arizona because she was the one who said, True Bean, if you're going to go and get radiation treatment, you need True Bean. And not every vet has that ability. And she didn't have that ability. So it wasn't self serving. Mm hmm. You know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
and uh, she said true beam hey, hold on, and hold on. and it and it's true that it won't they have these tiny bodies and mm -hmm. they don't want to radiate the whole body. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. So, it's like the size of my arm. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. A little bigger, I mean, but still, about the size of my bicep. <laughs> yeah. well, she's about two pounds less than at her highest. Oh, really? Yeah, she is. I, I remember when she was close to 13. She's about 11 two now. At least she was yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, can you come up for me? Come up a little bit. Oh, a little me. bit more. Honey. Come on, up for me. Come on. Come on. You love really shaking that. a little bit. Yeah. Yes. And she's starting the pants. So, so um, the neck here, the neck here, I'm not really. This is where we're getting a little bony, because you've got this mass here in the way too. So I'm not going to yeah. be too picky here. Is that okay? Yes. I'm not going to sit here and deep. I was detailing the other side, and I thought, you know, I've got this mass here and so forth. And that mass is a, a fatty tumor. Okay. And the vet that took off her anal did take out one of the tumors before, and they come back. I say it all the time. They do. If it's, um, a matter of fact, if it seems right, real, this is my opinion. I'm not a veterinarian, okay? Right. If it's not hard as a rock, like a stone, yeah. I say leave it alone. <laughs> if it's, stone, leave if it it's alone. A, if it's a, not a stone, <laughs> stone leave, leave it, it alone. alone. And uh, I have caught, I have said, hey, go get this checked out. And then we got the results. And yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And I thought over six times. And so if it's real been real fatty, I don't tell them run to the vet right away. I tell them when I had Sui's all taken off, we're talking three or four mm -hmm. in uh, about a two year span, they all came back twofold. Twofold, that's twofold. true. Yeah, because I took I took this little mole off of Sui, boy, he popped out with 20 more. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not, not doing that yeah. again. Yeah. And I worked at a vet at the time and I thought, hey, I get these surgeries for half off. <laughs> Just because you get half off doesn't mean you go into surgery every year, girl, do you? Well, no, and especially now, we don't want her. No way. You mentioned about the uh, booster backs. Uh-huh. Yeah, she she doesn't get them yeah. because of the fact that we know she has a mm -hmm. compromised immune system. Right, already. Yeah, with the chemo. She had chemo and radiation. So I'm not, how do you feel about this? Because of the boniness, right? Just bear with me. I'm gonna just kind of do something, something, but I'm not gonna shave down her arms. Do you okay. want me to? Sh as long as they don't look like bags, okay, okay. you know. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I don't want them to look like bags either. But if I go yeah. all the way to the <laughs> like bone, like she's wearing a pair of pants. Yeah. <laughs> if I go all the way to the bone, it's gonna look real awkward. Yeah. So I'm not gonna. I've got a ten blade all over her body, seven blade around that stuff, and then I'm gonna sweep and do some little this and that. A and little bit on her tail. Absolutely. You did wonderful on her tail. And then you said you would bathe at home this time. Is that yes. accurate? Yeah. And if you if you have a dog that is willing to cooperate much better at home that's older, why not? If, yeah. If you've got a dog that's struggling at the groom shop, and you just have your groomer do these a la carte things, okay, people? Yeah. I really wish more people would do that. Just listen to what the client needs and then break that cost up so that it's effective for both the groomer and the client and they can come in more often. But if the dog is happier at home, depending on the age, obviously. Well, I'll tell you though, she's not happy she's at not home. She's not cooperating at home. But she wasn't, she wasn't cooperating here at right. first. <laughs> right. So I think I we said, talked about that, like if this is easier at home, do you do her like in your arms? Uh, no, I do it in the bath. She's in the bathtub and I'm bending over. So, okay. if I had a different type, okay, baby. Now you you hold still. Yeah. So the only thing we're gonna do today is her nails, and then check her ears and see. Okay. You got it. <laughs> yeah. I thought the tail looked really good last time. You did a good job. Thanks. Hey, watch your head. Cause, cause a lot of people don't understand that tail. You know? <laughs> No, they don't. I know one. No, I'll go back in with the clippers. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. Whatever you want, girl. <laughs> you tell me what you want, okay? I just want yeah. you to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to be comfortable, girlfriend. Oh, it's okay. She says, no. Clean that up real good back there. When you um bathe her later, use a towel and get all that little bit of poop acid. You know that. Oh, it's poop acid. It's, okay. Well, I'm making this up. Okay. But it's fluid that the poop has on it, 
it will just get under the skin and kind of irritate dry up. Yep. Yeah. Dry up, irritate, da 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 da. So go ahead and rinse with the towel right back there real well, okay? Okay. I can see kind of juicy stuff that's real dried up. It's fine. Just rinse with the towel. Get in there. Wash it real good. She's not going to like it. Well, she doesn't like it anyway. So <laughs> I figured out okay. well. I so can you help. hold good here. Don't move. You don't move your fingers. Okay. You are so good. Yes. So the 10 blade goes all the way down. The 7 blade hardly takes anything off because the coat is so thick. What's her breed? Tell everyone. Well, again, we're not sure. I mean, we've had different people say different things. I think she's probably, since she was adopted, and we had no... I'm seeing, like, thick Pomeranian kind of hair, but also, what are you thinking? Uh, I've heard Don't of... Don't move your Pop fingers. Okay. I've heard of Papillon. Okay. And she used to have very I can see long that. ears, okay. and they cut the hair one groomer did. Uh-huh. And, you know, right up to the ears. Uh-huh. Which I've done that before. Did you, did, they, did you ask for it or were they no, mad, I mad didn't. at or anything? No, I did Sometimes people have their styles. Don't move, Mom. Some people have their styles, but were you happy you were not happy about that? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you guys never grew back. But now that I look, she's more balanced. Right, right. With the shorter ears. Right, right, absolutely. <laughs> Hey, girlfriend, are you happy? You should she look says, at the camera. I'm happier than I was. Yeah. <laughs> than she was last time, or yes, or earlier, because she's got less hair on her. <laughs> she is doing so good. So no comfy. Every dog's different. You gotta learn that, right? Right. You no need comfy to, and I and do. Yeah. And you know, really stay down the bottom here, or your armpit here. Stay there. You want that gone, honey. You don't want to look like a Clydesdale. Okay. okay. Let me do the pads now. Oh, yeah, the feet, huh? And the nails. Yeah. yeah. Get in there. We'll come back to the head and ears last. Okay. One more time. It gets kind of hard around the head and ears, doesn't it? I want to do it last. Because I don't have to move you. You know what I mean? Move everybody around. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. And it is kind of good to get the owner involved. In certain circumstances, I agree. Yeah. I, I would tell you a lot of people don't agree with me. A lot of groomers don't agree. They don't want to, that, like, why are you doing that, Dee Dee? Why would you get the pet parent involved, you know? Because not everyone wants to do it. But I say, if you run your own business, you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> well, I, I agree if with you If you're the owner of the that. business, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. Run your business how you see fit. Well, we wouldn't have, my first instinct would have been, I did, I thought she would do worse with me there. Right. And um, she was just so difficult that first time. Right. Imagine if I was by myself, which in at PetSmart where I grew, there, we didn't help each other. Mm -hmm. You got that dog, you made commission off that dog, and you're doing that dog by yourself. Very rarely you have a groomer that's going to lose their commission on the dog they're doing to stop what they're doing and help you with a dog that's senior or moving around a lot. Yeah. It isn't what you do. It's not what you do, right? Right. At the time I worked there anyway, and that's not what you did. So why not get the parent involved in certain okay. circumstances? Okay. And I understand corporate being, you might get hurt, you know, there's liability and everything. Well, that's why you have to find somebody willing to help you. You know? you know, there's liability that you could get hurt with her. Or the dog could get hurt. And why yeah. not have the pet parent there to be involved, to say, hey, I saw what happened, it wasn't your fault, or hey, I'm, I'm really glad I got to be there, I, I understand why. You know, it's so difficult because without you knowing, you'll never, would you never know? You would have never known, right? Right. Woo, you guys, sorry I can't even read what you're writing out there, but I hope you guys are doing well. Got my ha hands and eyes on her. This is our second time, and Mom is already a pro at holding here. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's doing know great, that. you guys. Maybe doing, the next time. I'll doing like really great. And the dog is doing, she is doing great. Remind us of her name, Mom. Oh, yes. Her name is Punkin. Punkin. P-U-N-K-I-N. And what touched my heart was my dad calls me that name. Did he? He's called me that name since I was a baby girl. So, it's it. when, yeah. Well, Pretty she, cool, man. I call her Punky. Punky? Yeah. Aww. She's my Punky. Okay, okay, here we go. We're going to try beating nails here. Yeah, you, you want those cut, don't you, baby? I know. Don't buck back. Just let me get in there. Okay. Stand up. Okay. 
You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You don't want me to get in there? I understand why. They were long, huh? No, but my dog don't like it. It's okay. Oh, look they forward. are. Look, look at look me. Look forward. Baby. Look at mom. Hey, hey. Pay attention to mom here. Hey, hey. It's okay. She wants to sit and do all this. It's okay. You stay there. You stay put. Stay put. You're good. Nothing bad's happening. We'll get these chiseled up real fast. Easy now. See, look at how good Dee Dee can do this. Okay, ready? Let One her. more time here. Let me see. Stay still. Stay still. Good I girl. swear they know what I'm talking about. Oh, I think they do. Okay, now I'm going to come to the front, okay? Let me see. You're good, Mom, right there. You're good right there. Okay. okay. You're Stay just there. coming to I'm the front. I'm just moving around. Da, 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 da. Look at Mom. Hey, Focus. Hey, baby. Hey. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that dew claw, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Doing good. Let me check one more time. Let me look. Good. Let me look again. Let me look again. Good. It's great. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. Okay. Don't scratch, Mom. Steady. You're okay. Let me take a look. Good. Good That's dog. That's a good girl. Yeah. Okay. Four more here. Steady. 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 Let me see. Nope. One more here. One more. Pumpkin, come on. Pumpkin. Come on, punk. Punky. Punky's okay. Punky, huh? Punky's yeah, okay. Yeah. You're okay. That's right. There we go. Yeah. I remember I promised you could sleep all day today. Sleep all day. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this is running a marathon. She is going to sleep all day. Yeah. To her, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, she does that anyway when they get this old, you know. Okay. You're good, Mom. You're doing good. I'm so proud of you. Okay, here we go. Okay. Turn the feet around here. Want to smell? Smell my brush. Can you smell my brush? Oh, my goodness. It's your hair. Can you smell my brush? Hi. Let me, let me mess with your feet here. Let me push all this hair in between up. Okay. Okay. Is that tickle? <laughs> Is that a tickle? Yeah, I know you don't know how to laugh. It's okay. I get it. She just says, I don't know, but I'm going to sleep so good in that car. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be knocked out in the car? Uh, well, I, I, I will hope so. It'll be a lot easier to drive her home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're so funny. Okay. All right. Stay there. Can you smell my brush again? Smell? Yeah. Okay. Stay there. Man, you got this hair. It's just bushy. Bushy, bushy you hair. You got this bushy hair, girl. Okay, steady. And her tail's wagging. I love it. She yes. wags even steady. when she's barking. Does she? Yeah, she's barking Steady. More. And I think, again, steady. it's because she can't Pumpkin. see. Pumpkin. It's okay. Has she started walking in circles yet? A Don't move your hands. Um, walking in circles. I hadn't really noticed specifics. So now you're going to go home and try to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. So as a... Something that, that's beyond me that I can't explain, but when a dog is blind, they will find a center and then just walk out, watch my finger. They'll walk out all the way until they start to find where they're at. Bump the couch, bump the... Oh, they're, they're mapping it. Yeah, th yeah, that's a good way to put it. They're, ma they're gonna map it with a circle. Isn't that crazy? You'll see. When a dog they is completely so blind, you will see that mapping system just take over. And no one, it's not like it's taught. I didn't teach her that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty miraculous if you ask me. Well, you know, there are times my husband will say, well, she doesn't understand that. And I'll say, oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> she understands what you say better than you think. Is she still think. hearing you think? Hearing's fine? Uh, no, it's not as. Dwindling? Yeah, which it was a blessing because she was always very scared of um, thunderstorms. Stay here. Don't move. I'm going to move around you here. Okay? It's okay. It's okay, my sweetheart. And, um... Steady. steady. Now she can sleep through them. That tells the you... The thunderstorms. Yeah. Oh. So it's kind of like, well, that's the blessing, because she used to get so, okay, so anxious. Punky. Okay, Punky. Yeah, you don't like that? Yeah, I wouldn't like it either. You know, I wish I just, when we get older, our hair, why can't we go bald when we get old, older? I mean, some men do, but yeah. wouldn't that be cool? As we get older, we just stop get growing hair and we don't have to go get our hair done. <laughs> yeah. We just, 
Do we have dog wigs? They never have to be groomed ever again. <laughs> Look at her, she don't like it at all. You don't like it at all? Since I don't know. What's going on, Dean? I'm pretty good here. Do you want to see, do you need, how do you like the arms, the front arms and stuff? I think they're pretty good I because they they're really not. Good. They're not bony yeah. and they're, they're still a little there, but they're not shaved like that. Yeah. The, when they used to have to take blood and all that tremor. Oh yep, yep. They would they, shave it yep. down all and it the was way the down saddest the area. thing to see. Was it? Yeah, to me. I mean, to see this bone, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. no hair, and I thought, oh, mm -hmm. it'll never come back. Well, you can tell it did. It does. It takes time. <laughs> takes time. Did she have an ear issue or anything last time? Anything that I need to be worried about, like ear infection or anything like that? I, I don't think she had an infection. Um, she has had everything from oh, an allergy Hi, to... Baby. Have you ever done a, a DNA test on her? No, no, I haven't. Would you do that like for Christmas or something? Would you be interested? I don't know. I don't know. We're we're kind of like I'm interested and she's not even my dog. I'm so interested, so you're you're interested in it. Right, huh? because the hair, you know, is real thick. I said I thought she was crossbred with a cat. Really? Because <laughs> it's so soft. True. True. Yeah, I thought, oh my gosh, she's got a cat don't in don't her. Don't jump. Don't jump. Not while I'm at your ears here. Yeah, you don't okay. want that. Don't want so. that. Okay. I'm just gonna even everything up here so it looks yeah. nice and rounded and cute, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm already used to the idea she's never gonna have long ears right. again. But I, I really think Don't it move. wouldn't work with her right now anyway. You could, we could start doing some wiry stuff, leaving all that wiry stuff if you want. No. No? Okay. No, and then I, I think and you know what I like with this one? It, I don't see the bone. This is the shortest I can go, girl. On the head? Oh, <laughs> no, oh. on her body. So if you're not seeing the bone, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Do you but, see the bone? Well, I think that that's weight, too. That's her weight, too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the shortest, safest blade I can do, which is a number 10. So if we were going to see bone, it would probably be, she, if she lost about three pounds, you'd probably see some bone. You know what I mean? No matter what. No matter what, yeah. Okay. okay, now wash um, your feet, huh? Having some issues kind of shaving down her neck with movement, so I'll just try to kind of just even some, ah, 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 even no. this. Watch your fingers. Don't move your fingers. If I have scissors in my hands, do not move your fingers because you you go too fast and I don't you don't know what I'm doing and I could just cut your finger. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> she says, you know now, Dee Dee, I've been watching and going quiet for a while. Hold on, can I look in your ear? Yeah, let me. Let me look in here. Are you talking to me now? I'm okay with it. I don't see anything at all in that ear, but I'm just going to clean them okay, all Okay, here. Here. Okay, so that you don't even have to clean them at home if you don't want to. I've done it here. Okay, great. You smell? Yeah, what do you smell? What does it smell like? What does it smell like? Pepper? Oh, it's not too Peppermint? bad. Peppermint? Essential yeah. oil? Yeah. Okay, don't get mad at me. <laughs> she says, I'm not mad. It smells good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The ingredients on this cle ear cleaner, which I sell, you guys can get some. You can get the small bottle or the big bottle. <sighs> Let me see here. First, 100% biodegradable, animal cruelty free, puppy safe, human grade ingredients, no parabens, no chemical dyes, 90% natural, organic, 48.7%. I really love it. Um, I am looking for the ingredients and uh, it's all in Spanish here in French. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> okay, here we go. Purified water, tea tree oil, some acid. Um, eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, and organic aloe vera. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong. Can't yeah. go wrong. In my opinion, you can't go wrong. Okay. okay. Come here. And what that, that does is it, if, it, if so she got water, water in, in her ear, it kind of helps. I wouldn't say that on this one because I'm only just cleaning the yeah. internal area for yeah. ear, you know. But if you were doing like a flushing agent, that would help. Yeah. yeah that would help kind of a... Dry evaporate, it. yeah, dry it out, evaporate, dry it yeah. out, that kind of. Yeah. Uh, 
This year, this year is a little bit more gunky, so I'm glad we kind of went in here. One. That one had gunkies. Did you have gunky last time, did I mention, or? No, you didn't mention. I knew a little code, a little, little gunky. Okay. Shh. See a little bit of something, something? Yeah. Maybe you'll hear better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you don't like that? Okay, okay, okay. Just get out of there, Phoebe. Okay, stay there. Let's do, uh, I know you're going to do, I'm just going to do a little couple spurts. I'm going to do a little bit of leave-in conditioner on our tail here. A little bit on my hand for her forehead. Mmm, smells Here's, good. Smells good. That cologne is delicious. Call Rainforest. Everyone always says it smells good, huh? It's my favorite. You know, I used to buy like a set, like all different kinds of colognes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. since I've, I just went back to just that one alone is just so delicious. You don't need to go change it. And yeah, she looks pretty. Okay, stay there for me. YouTube, we're about to say goodbye. I'm gonna cash mom out. Come wrap up. Smile, mom. Oh wait, let me get her over here. Look over here, pumpkin. Turn pumpkin, pumpkin for you. Cheese. Yeah, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna send that to you. Okay. All right, YouTube, we'll be right back. I'll wrap up the tools and then we'll be out of here. Mom, you're gonna hold her, okay? Yeah, I got her. You got her? Yeah. Great, she's all yours. Ugh. Okay, was that so bad?
Okay, you guys, I am back. <laughs> I'm going to scroll all the way up here because I didn't get to see anything. So bear with me. Let's go through this real fast. And actually, I'm going to text the client um, that's coming in next and let them know, hey, come on in. So bear with me here while I do that. Let's see what you guys all said. Whew. That was great, man. She did so much better. I know you guys haven't seen her first video. It will come out soon. Um, but hold on one second. Let me text my client coming in now. Next. Because we're running way ahead of schedule. Okay. We've got that moving. Always have things moving. You know what I mean? Okay. So um, we got... Honey Bee was watching, awesome. And hi everyone, I hope you guys had a, are doing great. I gotta, I gotta figure out where I need to put this one as I'm scrolling here. Um, I need it right in front of the TV, quite frankly. Oh, I should, you know what I could do? I could totally just get, get on to it live on my... Okay, oh, she said okay, so it means that she's, I think she's pretty close. If I can put this on my phone, then maybe I can just look at it while we're all I can just look down at my screen and look up instead of just doing this whole thing. That would be cool, right? Okay, let's see where we're at here. I heard a bing ding. Okay, so I see, let me just scroll down. Uh, I think I can do all this scrolling here in a minute, but I did see Trish Lake, thank you for your donation. Woohoo! Thank you so much for your contribution. If you learned anything, I appreciate you donation. I mean, goes far supporting me. Um, Carl Whitaker, thanks for becoming a member, Carl. Awesome, awesome blossomness. Welcome, Carl. And then let me keep scrolling. I heard some bling bling. Bling bling is either a member or a donation. Angela Bryce. Angela Bryce. Oh my gosh. Prayers out to you. I've been thinking about you and texting you every day. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for this, this butterfly right here on my screen. Thank you for sending me this. Look at this gorgeous butterfly she sent me along with some other things. I used your soap daily at the salon and daily at, at my house. I mean, it's amazing. You're the best. Angela Bryce, God be with you. You got new lungs and she is in recovery. She's in the hospital. You guys just give her a powwow. Just go amen, amen. We, we powwow you right now, Angela. We want you to recover swiftly and happily and with your new lungs. And hopefully those new lungs will ride you the entire life that you have here with us. So thank you, Angela, for sharing my world with me and letting me come into your world a little bit. And I'm just so happy you got some lungs, okay? I mean, for real, real lungs. <laughs> she had a lung transplant. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Okay, uh, Renee Fisher, I haven't seen you in forever, girl. Uh, she said, so glad it's been, it, it's, thank you for your donation, Renee. You're the best. How is PetSmart doing? Are you doing okay over there? How are y'all doing at PetSmart? All right, let's continue scrolling down here. Okay. Oh, we got a new member, new member, Ruth Keimer. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome, Ruth. And seriously, do some prayer hands for me for uh, Angela Bryce, please. Callie, you're out there. I know you're watching. I think you're watching. If you're not watching, you'll hear this later. But Callie, we love you too. God bless you what you're going through. Uh, thanks for being a very loyal and wonderful friend. And your Timberwolf food is on its way. You should be receiving it any day now. Uh, recently, someone also ordered a table from me. Not recently, there's a bunch, but... The, if you ordered in the last eight days, the table is being delivered today. So those of you guys who watch your grooming products and you support me, please order on our website. It really makes a difference. It keeps me here, keeps me being around for you. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm going to my channel. And let's go watch this live so I can kind of scroll and see. I got to change that. Is that Pappy on on there? I need to change that picture. Okay, so let me just pop. Can you do this? Can you pause this? No, you can't, can you? Okay, so let me just scroll now. Okay, so I can scroll on the chat. This is so cool. Okay, so um, I wonder how far it goes back, though. I don't know. I've got to figure this out. Oh, yeah. Maybe it went back. Maybe it didn't go all the way back, though. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. My favorite groomer, uh, my favorite YouTube, my favorite YouTuber, and taught me how to groom my poodle. Woohoo! That's awesome, Alice. That's great. I don't think I can scroll back as far as I thought I could. So we're going all the way back down. Let me just try one more time. Um, Angela Turk, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in for a minute, man. So today, I'll do a little film later. I, sh I should have captured more, but Saki is getting her dental done today. So I had to get up extremely early and take her to the veterinarian. Um, I'll do a little piece about that veterinarian. It just depends on how it goes. 
and uh, her teeth, we had her dental done about a year ago, and she's about like that eight or nine years old. She's rescued her. She's got this under overbite thing going on. So when she chews her food, it doesn't chisel plaque. You know what I'm saying? Like chisel plaque off her teeth, <clears throat> hard food. But also just the way her mouth is designed, the, the plaque and the buildup is just for real, man. So I hope this is her last dental. I know she's going to have a couple extractions. There's one I can almost go, I just want to pull this out myself. But you know I'm not going to do that. I thought about it. But I, yeah, I can't. Um, if something happens with an infection, guess guess what happens? You could lose your dog. So don't do those things at home. I was pretty lucky when I rescued Brownie. He had a loose tooth, and boy, he spit it up one day. And I thought, yes, you know. But then you just got to watch him because it, it could still get infected. But there was a loose tooth, and Brownie just spit that baby out one day. I was like, yeah. But she's going to have a couple extractions today. And so we'll see, you know, just how bad and it ended up being and then I, I really hope at her age this is her last dental because she's not going to have very many teeth left so check your dog's teeth get them in for a dental if they need it it will it will help in my opinion pro prolong their life longer if there's a lot of nastiness in their mouth they're swallowing that bacteria every day and it affects their health just like it does you and I did you know that it's, our teeth the same way if you have it and you got some nasty teeth Go get a cleaning and it's going to suck. Go get a really good cleaning where they knock you or all your gums out and really get a cleaning. It really affects us too the same way. We don't realize that. But what's in our mouth is what we swallow all day, every day. Okay? All right. So I hope you learned something on that. So much stuff, right? You just have to wrap everything. I've been cleaning house, you guys, my whole life. I've been cleaning house. So Brownie went to the vet. Got to make sure he's doing okay. Saki needs to get her dental done. Get that sucker done. You know, just clean up house, man. Sometimes you need to just need to get it, get her done. Kelly, I knew you were out there. What's up, Kelly? Thank you for your $2 donation. You're the best. Thank you so much. Your contributions are not always here online. So just because you see Kelly with the $2, you have no idea what she did on Square Cash. You have no idea what she's ordered. You have no idea how loyal she is to to my business and uh thank you for being such a wonderful friend all right i uh, love you guys i'm again i'm just seeing everyone in their prayers Woohoo! that's what i want to see loving each other and um you know that eye contact is so important I, I yelled at a girl today i said you're the front line and you can't even look at me in the face i said we're pure humans on the other side of this register you should be able to look at my face and she got really pissed you know me. I'm going to tell it how it is. Uh, thanks, Ruth. Okay. I'm, I'm looking. How is Brownie? Brownie's recap is going to come out. And um, he's doing great. Brownie is just doing great. But his recap should be here in the next uh, week or less. So keep an eye on that. Makio, what's up, Makio? Makio had her auction. She has an auction every year. Um, I think I... Yeah, I ordered something. I got something. So it should be in the mail, so I can't wait to get it. I think I got a bow tie or something like that. Check out Senior Ride Rescue. Uh, that's what she does. And support her in that. And then uh, let me keep going here. Uh, Melissa says, I love Dee Dee so much. I am in Wisconsin. And I am seriously considering taking a trip to have her groom our fur baby. Wow, that's awesome. Make sure you uh, schedule that in advance. And make sure I got the vaccinations, this and that. Because I'm, I think I'm currently not taking clients unless you've got that senior, senior pet that really needs that one-on-one -on -one or that aggressive pet. Like, I'm totally maxed out on my appointments. Saki emoji in the house. Chastity, Crowley, what's up? Uh, thank you all for being a part of everything I do. I'm going to do a quick wrap up now. So today we groomed a very, what, 13 years old, survival of cancer. Um, she was very disappointed in not, she was very, the mom, did you hear her? She said she was very disappointed in one veterinarian not doing a biopsy. And I have to say, there's two sides to that, right? So um, I remember taking, uh, having a mole, a mass, a nice smushy mass off of Suey. Suey's right there. Look, I've got his picture. This is my Suey who passed away, right? He's, this is Suey. So I, I had Suey's, I've had that painting at home. I brought it here. So, Suey, I would remove masses. He had a couple on his throat. One time I had one room removed and it was, they had to put a dripping tube in. Oh, what was I thinking? Don't remove all these mushy mass. Don't, because they're going to come back. Like, she had a big smushy mass on this dog, right? It, to go remove it and then it just grows right on back. Well, there's still surgery happening here. 
So I wish I'd never done those mass removals. But the veterinarian, we did a mass removal and she said, Dee Dee, do you want to get this tested? And I said, no, I'm good. So she didn't. So some, so you got to look at where veterinarians are coming from and also say, did, the veterinarian should give you a choice and then you make that choice. Um, I don't, I wouldn't be mad at the vet that we didn't. I wouldn't be mad at the vet if we did. Uh, and let, like, what is she, what is the veterinarian did a biopsy and then charged $800 for it? Uh, right? Is you got to have that communication. You really need to have that discussion. So since that uh, a veterinarian that worked with her dog didn't do a biopsy and then something happened, the cancer came back and then they had to go in there a different veterinarian and do some more of this and that and do radiation. They, she's been through so much with her animal. So there is a, a little bit of like, I'm really upset I didn't get a biopsy. So now you know, those of you that are here or watch this video, you know, if you ever have a mass removal done, if you want a biopsy, that is the time to say, I want a biopsy done. Because all they got to do is send it out, right? Or maybe they have the facility to do that, but that's where you're going to do it. Once they throw that mass out, it's gone. You can't go in there and get it again. And once that whatever dies down, I, I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist, but once all that goes away, you lose that opportunity to get a biopsy. So then let's just say you ask for a biopsy. Now you need to say, well, how much is the biopsy going to be, right? And all that is an expense. It's nothing's free. So then you decide if the biopsy is really important to you. In this case, she looks back and says, I wish I had a biopsy because it came back. They didn't get it all. And so what they would have known is if they got the biopsy on the first cancer, is it or was it the same cancer? I think that's why she is left with no information, no data, right? But it's hard to say, I, I didn't pay for a biopsy on that mass. If it was cancer, I wouldn't know either. It would just be like, oh, here's another mass. Let's get it removed. And maybe this time we'll go into a biopsy because, hey, it's unusually another piece. You know what I mean? Another cancer maybe. So there, there's her information on that biopsy. So just decide for yourself if a biopsy is important to you at that time. But it's good information. Good information you can't buy somewhere. You have to either have gone through it or you're sitting in the office listening to it happen to someone else. And you're like, hmm, maybe we should get a biopsy, right? <laughs> All right, so... Um, let me see here. Hold on a second. Get this my little, see a little spot right there. Okay. Need to get some Windex. Nice little. Okay. All right. So I saw some stuff happening. Arturo. Well, let me go show there. This is cool that I have it right on my phone. This is smart. I should have been doing this a long time ago. All right. Um, Sue, thank you so much from the Quizzes family. Love ya. Love you, Dee Dee, she says. Thank you for your donation. You're awesome. I think that's Canada right there. Canada money. So I've got some Japanese money, some Canada money. I think I got Great Britain, Spain. I think I've got Luxembourg, Germany. I think now it's turned into Euro, but hey, I've got some German Deutschmark still. I hope that those are going to be worth money one day. <laughs> you know, all them pennies that you saved. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Like I said, uh, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Australia's in the house. Honeybee, touch base with Dookie. Dookie Wookie or Ducky Wookie. Okay, you guys, today we did a 10 blade all over. I use the Andis 5 speed. I don't care what you think, Andis 5 speed is going to be the way to go. Get the best to begin with and then don't turn back. So, Andis 5 speed, I think I went through four 10 blades and one 7 blade. I did the seven blade on the arms. I did a four guard, that's an attachment comb. Pop that baby onto my 10 blade and I did a four guard attachment comb reverse on top of the head. And then we did the ear shear. You'll see this on myfavoritegroomer.com, right? The ear shear we did around, rounded her ears, kind of took off the flurries. And then we did the 8.5 length curved shear to kind of tidy up around the front of the feet on all of them and then the back of the arms on the front legs and then I think a 40 blade on the feet, on the pads, excuse me. So all that stuff is what I used. Um, I used a brush, the large bristle brush on her tail and then do the 8.5 shear to curve that tail up. And then what else? I think that was it, right? Toenail trimmers. So I mean, what is that? Six tools? Six tools total? I didn't even use a comb on her because we were doing a shave down. And then we used the um, Andis spray. 
the and a disinfectant coolant spray. So those are all the tools you need to do this job. If you want to shop with us, that supports us at myfavoritegroomer.com. We love you guys. I refuse to use the dog up stand today because she's so panicky. Her body is moving around so much. And I feel like all those little, uh, sometimes those little tools get in the way. And plus you want to get in and out. So every now and then you need to pick and choose what tools you, you use and how you use them. So I didn't use one of those today, but if you happen to get, get want to get one, dogupstand.com, that's where you would go to get that. And Renee Fisher's doing one shout out last donation. I appreciate that, Renee. $24.99 from Renee. Absolutely love you and everything you do. I love you too. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my powwow, my support system my fans you guys are my fans thank you for being super fans out there that shop with me all the time there's treats and toys and really cool gifts for humans and the groomer that you have uh, grooming tools all that is on my website if i found some really cool stuff in hawaii or uh, i haven't been to australia yet but you know what i'm saying if i found some really cool stuff you'll find them in the gift section and then i just made a a new kit it is uh you know you guys know Jackson Jackson's video is gonna come out Jackson is right now he's doing really good so Jack be, because of Jackson I made a kit of pads uh, adhesive pads and petty paw like a petty paw mitt and it is a great kit if you're a groomer you want to have this kit I had one petty paw from super zoo they gave it to me to test it and in 16 years i only needed one but when i needed it i needed it now so you can nick a dog at any time and it's good to have some of the right kind of adhesives or wraps and i just made it yesterday it's under the kit section so you're going to get like i don't know eight of something and 11 of something else like you're going to get all these little wraps and stuff and it's good just to have them on hand and then you can top it off. If you get the kit, then you can get a discount at Hotspot or 2-in-1 cream or healing cream or whatever in that same link. So that's under the kit section. I just made that. It's been up and coming. But have you seen the Petty Paw mitt? Oh, my gosh. It goes right around the foot. It wraps and Velcros itself. And it's a little mitt in case that someone has a Hotspot or a Unica pad or anything like that. Or there's an injury or a dog put their, which has happened, put their hand in a fence, their foot in the fence and pulled that nail out. Things like that. The Petty Paw Mitt is amazing. So I put a little bit of everything in this kit for you. So you wouldn't have to buy one paw, Petty Paw package with six in there and there's only one size. You get one of like everything. So I really, really hope that you pick one of those up. It's really important to have some of those medical things that you need, like the first aid kit stuff that you would need for your business. Um, or at home, you know, if you got a dog that this one dog did, she put her foot through the paw, the chain link fence, cut it wide open. And the pet parent said, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I said, wrap it right away. Wrap it right away. Go see the vet, you know. Um, so check that out. And then I have one more thing to show you. There's only like three online. It's under the apparel section and it's under shears. Let me show you this really cool thing. Hold on. This is a veterinarian. I got to take this. Hold on. Bear with me.
thing real fast and then we'll get you started and oh my goodness okay here we go so are you guys still there man i'm so sorry i had to take that call about saki's dental and it was the manager and um we're going to do a whole review on them publicly later so check this out betty dyer you went above and beyond betty dyer made this for me i asked her to make me a tool a tool holder and i told her exactly what i take on the road i told her i i take a large nail trimmer a small nail trimmer i take a 8.5 shear i take a seven shear i take a spare seven shear or 6.5 shear and you know what she did she made me my own shear holder tool holder okay so this is going to wrap up like this it's so cool man and then you you wrap it and tie it up it's so cool I, you know what i was using a towel i would put everything in a towel and wrap it up guess what now boom I have this amazing Betty Dyer. Your workmanship is amazing. So she sent me, I think, three more, and I'm selling them. They're handmade. She lives in Florida. She hand makes these. You know, she, Betty, I don't want to throw you under the bus, but I think she's un, like right. She's over 60 years old, and she's still working this hard. Look at the workmanship here. Look at the tools, the pockets. Is this is freaking amazing right here? Okay. Okay, hold on here. They're handmade. Uh, the ones on the website are nicer. I have a client already here. I would go get them and show you. There's purple and dark purple, like purple and dark purple, and then a black and gray that's lighter and smaller for less tools, and then there's another purple one. I'm going to ask her to make more, but if I don't get them sold, then I'm not going to have her waste time on it. So if you, And then there's one that's custom with your name. That's obviously more expensive because you can see the workmanship here is awesome. And this was a gift. She totally was like, I wanted to make you the best one. And, and she did. And Betty Dyer, thank you so much. You are amazing. She made the purses. You know what I'm talking about? The purses are now online. They're under the gift section. But get your tool holder. You can put other tools. You can do, I put my screwdriver in there, okay, my flathead. So, um, okay, you guys are going to actually get the benefit of watching this next video because she's here. So uh, Paula came in early. And I know we had a mishap the other day. I don't know if it's a miscommunication, but she was here waiting for me, and I wasn't even here. So I was like, get over here now. So she, she just showed up. So get your tool holder. There's only three, okay? And it's under the shear section. It's also copied over into the gift section and the groomer apparel section. There's only three out there. And each one is custom made by hand in the United States in Florida by Betty Dyer. So if you want one, go pick it up so happy about it okay let me go get um our next pet i'm actually going to start a new feed so you're going to get out of this one and then you're going to watch a new one so we're going to close this one out and i'll see you in a few minutes be watching that dashboard in case you don't get a notification okay check out myfavoritegroomer.com and definitely continue supporting us thank you for your donations and we'll see you in a few minutes thanks we'll see you later